To the channel so today we are getting ready let me adjust this thing this is going to be more of a vlog style um, video we're going to be going to the connecticut barber expo we literally get up out here in like maybe an hour this is like the last minute stuff that i'm gonna be doing before i leave i don't know if you ever heard of the connecticut barber expo but if you haven't it's one of the biggest in the world if not the biggest it's like 15,000 people are supposed to be going. You know, you may not know, but my wife had a heart transplant, so she wasn't able to go this last few years because of that process, but she, you know, she got it and she got the clear. So we're looking forward to going to this event, finally getting back out and mingling and, and making connections in the barber industry. So I hope that when I get there, that it's a great experience. Um, just trying to be optimistic because sometimes, you know, barbers can be a bit much, or at least in my last, my past experience. Now. To exclude, I just went like in January this year. So a few months ago, I went to the I Am Barber Plug show. They did their first show and they had a lot of influencers there. Other barbers, Los was there, Poppy Beam was there, 360 Jeezy, Wavy Kid Cav. So I was able to see them and uh, see the, the energy in that barber industry. At least for that show, man, everybody was excited to be there. It was nothing with good vibes. The influencers was mingling and, and answering questions and if you got your VIP, uh, you were able to go back there, talk to them, ask for advice or, you know, maybe interview them or something. So that's what I was able to do, me and my buddy that I took out there with, with me, one of my the guys that I mentor, because I've been doing this for about 20, I've been doing this since 14, so 26 years. And um, so I've been mentoring people over the years and I was able to take one of my mentees with me on the trip and we had a good experience. So I hope that this trip is you know, gonna be just as fun, engaging as the last one. I'm gonna be meeting some people out there. I got uh, my boy, uh, Slick the Barber, asked if I was coming, um, DC from GMB Pro, some influencers from Coco, obviously, El Coto. So it, it's a few names and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot more. I'll be able to see King Los, uh, Los cut it again. Shout out to him. And um, man, I'm looking forward to it. My boy Smitty from Raw and Uncut, Razors, I'm gonna see him there. So that's, that's gonna be awesome. He's a, a local, he's kind of in my area in Las Cruces, I'm in El Paso currently. And so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to linking up with, with my crew and the people that have been rocking with me in this industry. First off, let me show y'all something. But I got a couple things in the mail. All right. Shout out to Lip Fees Barbershop. Uh, this is actually a three in one mirror, so for self cut. So I'm definitely looking forward to using this when I get back, y'all. Yeah, actually get a self cut tutorial from me. So looking forward to doing that. And then, shout out to Smitty. He sent me this care package. He knew I was coming out there. Um, and I did mention that I want to go out there and kind of support and be there involved with, you know, the booth and stuff like that. Just lending a hand to help his um, situation be successful because he's always been looking out and I've been looking out and that's how you support your friends and other people that's in the industry. You lend a hand without asking for nothing in return. But I guess, you know, he wanted to show his gratitude and send me some stuff out here. So let's crack this open real quick before we leave. What we got ahead, first item. Oh, he sent my wife a <laughs> barberette bag. That's cool. It's like straps on your chest and it allows you to put like a panty pack right here. And um, yeah, you can, put your tools and stuff like that. And if you're cutting mobile, or you're doing something mobile, you can reach in here, have that direct access to it. So shout out to him for this. And I know that's for my wife. I know he wouldn't see no paint for me. <laughs> um, oh, okay. He sent me a uh, Chicago Bulls jersey. Let me go ahead and open this up real quick. All right, here it goes. Oh yeah, that's tough. Now, you know I'm a Chicago Bulls fan and I'm a fan of those retro type of cuts. So. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this. This is gonna be A1. I might even wear this down there. I might rock this instead of this shirt. And then, of course, he threw my favorite razors. Now, if y'all ain't tracking this razor brand, it's called Raw and Uncut. These things hit, all right? Prior to this, I used to use Dorco, Dorco Supreme, and another brand, what's that, that green box? Derby the Derby Extras. Since I've been using these for like the fat past like four years, three to four years, I haven't used anything else. And so he sent me a care package, uh, a few more razors. And so shout out to him for that. 
And um, you gotta check these out real quick. So I don't know if y'all been tracking. These are the metal glasses. You can kind of put them on. They have a camera. So if y'all see me at the show, it'd be good to meet y'all. You see this light blinking, flashing. That means that I'm recording. So I definitely recommend this because it allows you to stream directly through your Instagram or Facebook, any meta social media site. Ray-Ban glasses, um, highly recommend them. I'm gonna be using them throughout this footage here and there, depending on what I'm using. Uh, right now I'm shooting on a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This thing is so dope. Uh, let me show y'all in the mirror. I have it on a little tripod and like this is it. I know y'all been seeing it. And yeah, so you go ahead and lock it on me. Yeah, so now it's tracking me. You see that? Super tough, super tough. Yeah, the, this is dope. Um, I actually haven't used it as much as I want to because it's been a busy week. I'm in film school. But anyway, if y'all see this video after it's and y'all see me, man, and y'all swing by, then, um, you know, I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys at the event. I'll be, you know, walking around and also at the Raw and Uncut booth. You might also see me by GMB Pro over there with some of the influence over there. I vibe with Slick the Barber, DC. Uh, so anyway, check out this footage coming up and um, you're going to take you on this journey. See you guys soon. All right, so my guy Adrian showed up to the door last minute. What's going on? Good, good. I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I went on here and paid that man in advance. And um, yeah, he gave me some cars that I didn't need. I ordered it about a month and a half ago. He's finally getting them to me in like just the nick of the time. It's a nice design. I actually designed it myself. And so, it, it, I mean, it literally removed him having to rethink things at all. All he literally had to do was maybe tweak it. He didn't ask for a vector file or anything like that, but then he mentioned it as a issue. Now, all right, here's the car, right? But this car, I mean, it's the thickness that I want, right? And it's a good car stock quality, but it's, and excuse these dogs barking in the background, but you know, it, it, it's not the look I was going for. I was going for like more of a gray, like the, the walls in here. And this is what I got. That's my thing. More of the story is, man, uh, if you got a business, man, put your, if it's, it's always your name on the line, stand on your product and stand on your services. And that goes for like the barber industry, any industry really. And be on time, like, bruh, you don't know what people got going on. Like if, when I ordered that, I had to remind him last week, hey, you know, I'm going to this barber event. I want to make sure I got some nice cards to go ahead and pass out to people. And this thing is, is very important because, you know, it's people's first impression of you. And the way I got this printed up right here, it looks so cheap. Ain't no point, it was a waste of time and a waste of me even going to the door right now. Anyway, moving forward. My gosh, so we just made it through the check-in for El Paso. Starting our journey as the missus. All right, so we just got on the plane from El Paso to Atlanta. All right, we just landed in Atlanta. We got another two hour layover. Yeah, so we got a little bit of a layover, then we on our way to Connecticut. So I don't know if y'all been tracking this uh, Kendrick and Drake beef, but uh, I'm sitting here in the airport. There's a new track, like live right now, Academics is uh, playing it. Man, I've been enjoying this uh, this whole beef back and forth, man. It's really good for hip hop, so thank God uh, I had the time to hear it. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Oh, wow. It's 13 of them. Fuck them all and they mama. How many options you really got? I mean, it's too many options. Kendrick didn't got, he didn't got the uh, or predator pins on, um, on Drake house on our uh, Google Maps. This is wild. How about this show niggas? Certify boogie man. I'm the one that up to score with him. Walk him down. OVO stand for the other option. <laughs> Alright, we just landed, so we gotta head back as clean and pick up the rental car. So we got we got about a hour and fifteen minute ride from the airport and then um, we'll uh, figure out what we're gonna do for the next few hours until 
the first class, the class of today, the class of today, and uh, right here. Hey right, guys, y'all take care. All right, we made it to Connecticut, y'all. We got a band playing music. We got some gentlemen up here in some kilts. I mean, it's kind of weird. Cause right now it's like 12, 12.38 AM. And they got some festivities going on up here. They were just playing the Army Goes Rolling Along down here by Baggage Claim. These gentlemen, this is tough. We got one more member of the band. I have no idea what's going on at 12.30 a.m. Our stuff is already here, which is a good thing. on this side i know it ain't empty on the inside but it is 8 30 in the morning so they might have went out last night and stuff so i don't know we'll see when we get in there we here we here finally made it against the wall. Someone will be right with you. Yeah. Have, you I'll see you I don't even know. Right here. Hello, hello. Checking in. Education's gonna be first order. Thank you. That's the, that's his event. That's Jay Majors. General mission? No. Uh, yeah. So um, we just got done with the first portion of the education. It was uh, Andrew Rawls and uh, Famos. They did a good, pretty good job. Uh, Famos did a design. They both did designs. Famos did a uh, Andy's logo on the back of somebody's head. And Angel, he did like a freestyle. Both came out pretty clean. Uh, they gave out a lot of good information for new up and coming barbers and they touched on some of the new tools from Andy's. I guess they have a new blade coming out. They brought back the uh, the OG .5 guard, the uh, double magnetic. So that's dope for those that uh, prefer those guards. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to going by their booth and kind of looking at some of the advancements that they've uh, brought with that new uh, blade. Man, it's mad early. <laughs> uh, look like they got stay gold coming. Um, She's gonna be the next platform artist. Her or somebody else. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some footage of, you know, a little bit of her, uh, I gonna call it performance, but. The outline has to be cool, comfortable. You don't want it to make a lot of noise. And once I merged and partnered with Coco, I shared that information. And what happened was uh, 
Oh, you just got you a new toy, huh? Oh, yeah, you I'm, just trying, got to figure, you a I'm new trying to figure toy, it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, it, huh? You in the building, boy? What's happening? Shit, how was y'all trip, man? It was cool, bro. We've been here since what? Thursday? I got that package too. Appreciate it. Oh, Why do you like that I'm little glad bag? It down. Let it touch down. How was y'all's flight, man? How was y'all's flight? It was, it was smooth, actually. It was real smooth, man. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Learning about products and um. This is by your professional. It's a new brand. I see. Let's say we have 23 products. 23 products. We have Chile. We have Chile. Yeah. So y'all know I've been anticipating getting this all all white ghost. Let me know what you mean. Uh y'all do y'all have the ghost? Say again? June and July. Oh, June and July. Why well, I thought y'all dropping it this time. But oh, this is Al's booth. Let me grab that book right there. We're gonna we're gonna get that book. We're gonna get that book right there. Show it to the camera. Yes, we're about to get that right there. That's one of the barber OGs, one of the goats. He said if you come back in five minutes, he'll sign it. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So we're here with the Clippers Company. Uh, what's your name, brother? Justin. Justin. Huh? Yes, sir. All right, talk to me about your um your line. So this is the Clippers BT1 coming out most likely in June, I believe, is what we got. Um, so what we have here is it's a, a, a 2500 RPM. Uh, they call it the BT-1, a brushless trimmer, essentially. Um, and we have what's called our NeoGlide technology. And basically, no buttons on the entire thing, which is pretty cool. Awesome. And with a little push and slide, we're right on, and then a push and slide nice. right off, and you can go down. Doesn't matter, they turn oh, off, okay. turn on, either way you want. Yeah, it's coming in June. What's the what's the run time on this clip? Run time is about what's three the... hours. It's a 25 minute charge time. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, nice and fast. Um, okay, and uh, what kind of motor is it? Is it brushless? It's a brushless trimmer, yeah. Okay. So a brushless motor. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, what about your adjustable right here? Can you, can the you tell me this one? Yes, absolutely. So this is gonna be our MC1 here for you. Um, this is our charcoal gray one. Comes with our carbon coated DLC fade blade, which is really nice. Um, 8,300 and 10,000 RPM. So you have a dual speed motor, aluminum housing for you. Has a three hour charge time. This is a 50 minute charge time. A very, very nice. Yes, sir. Let me put that set down real quick. Okay. Very oh, quiet, quiet too, which is very, very nice. Quiet. Wow. Uh, it's, a, it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice uh, full metal housing. Yes, exactly. Uh, at least the, the back side is what, carbon? Uh, yes. Carbon back side? Aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah. Aluminum. Yes. Uh -huh. Very nice. It's cool to the touch. Got a nice er er ergonomics on it. Absolutely. Um, wow, this is very impressive. Yes, and then our other one, the MC1 Black, comes with a taper blade. It's a DLC. Oh, and carbon and two, different, uh, two different blades, yeah. And also here, it's got two different uh, power. Speeds, yeah. 8,300 8, speed. RPM and 10,000 RPM. Wow. 83 and 10,000. Yes, sir. Wow, that's probably the fastest one I've seen so far. Yeah, very cool. It's very nice, especially if you have like thicker hair. The 10,000 RPM is going to really is like. One available right now? Yes, we are selling those and the MC1 what with color the taper blade. So the one with the fade blade comes in charcoal gray, and then the one with the taper blade comes in all black. Okay. Yeah. I'm made come back around and just pick these up. Please, man, we'll be here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll hey, I appreciate it. it. Lamar. Lamar, yeah. Justin, pleasure to meet you, brother. Yeah, me too. Here, man. I'm showing you guys what we got. Coming. We got some goodies here. Okay, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. How many sprites will convince you? You said one. Man, I'm going to give you four plus four. Yo, just hold. I am, I'm going to try to cover his eye. Now, this is a spray, right? That's a spray. You see that? Yeah, yeah. I want yeah, you to tell me how many sprays you see. Do you think y'all the product will still be there? It be gone. And we, we, all right, let's agree. Let's agree on that. Do that. What client is going home to 
do that. Look at the other side. How many sprays did he get? How many you tell? You tell me this, right? At least more than that. I, I was at my head at about 20. I gave him about 20 dollars. Because look, right there, you going home to win. You ain't going home to lose. And I give you two guns. So you switch between black, brown, and black in seconds. Check my shit out. Check my shit out. Who's giving you this? Now I call that one the Black Mamba. Hold that. And you get a station, you get a station holster. You get the stencil, the brush, the towel, the two guns, the color. You get everything you need to win right out the gate. And I'm going to show you how we clean it too. I'm going to show you how we clean it. Look at the result. And I sprayed it with 20 sprays of aftershave. And that's brown. That's not even black. I'm going to do the other side real quick. This is a very easy process. I can make $10 extra. Here you go. My wife got me holding her purse. <laughs> It's good to see the barber industry, you know, prospering, growing. There's a lot of young, new barbers out here. And uh, it's good to see the new, the next generation of barbers. It's crazy that, like, you know, even looking at 10 years ago, how the land ha landscape has changed, you know? To see these little, you know, young, young, young barbers, and then to see the OGs, and then, like, the ones like me that are, Maybe somewhere in between. It's crazy. What's going on YouTube? I'm here with my man from Squire. Yep. Right? And uh, we want to ask him a question. And the question is, sir, uh, what kind of advice would you give to a barber that's trying to uh, create their own personal brand? That's, that's a great great question and it's something I hear a lot actually. Um, as a barber you want to be able to stand out. It's a very competitive business, right? Like there's barber shops all around the neighborhood, across the street, and you want to be different from them mm -hmm. in a good way. So um, one thing that you can do is you can actually download Squire and sign up to Squire Flex, which is a new product that we just launched and it is, enables barbers to have custom branded apps so they could have their clients download their app instead of some tech company and the client would always see their information. They wouldn't see any other competitors and it's a real differentiator because it allows the barber to showcase their brand, their personality, their haircuts, their style. And um, I think that's a major way um, using technology to differentiate and to stand out and and have a better brand. I think uh, I, I noticed that you guys allow the barber to use their own personal logo yep. when they download the app. Yeah. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so it's actually, we're the first ones, hey, we're the first ones to ever do it, right? So if you think about somebody's phone, all those little apps that live on the phone, those little icons, they're taking up precious real estate. Everywhere the person goes, that goes with them. So you can actually have a little piece of that real estate on their phone as a barber, and you can have your own logo representing the icon that displays on their phone. Man. So every time they open the phone, even if they're not thinking about a haircut, they're going to see it, and they're going to be, oh, yeah, I need a cut now. So that's something that no other company does. Uh, we just launched it. It's called Squire Flex. Uh, go to getsquire.com slash flex to sign up if you want to be part of the early access. It's not launching for everybody until the end of the summer. But anybody at CT can get access, and since we have a, you know, you, you, you interviewing me, any of your followers, they can go on and get early access as well. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your time. Bro. Thank you, man. Thanks All right. right. What's going on, YouTube? We're here with Barbie Mar. Yeah. Barbers. You already know. Yes, that's what they know me by, right? We're at the CT uh, CT Barber Expo, and uh, we want to ask a lot of quick questions. All right. During your journey as a course, right? Yep. What kind of challenges did you experience and how does it work out? So, I'd say the biggest challenge with becoming quote unquote an influencer, I don't like being called that, but I know I got put in that box, was just the simple idea of being put in a box of an influencer. And for me, that was a challenge because I'm not the type of person that likes to play by set out rule. I like to almost create my own path build my own box, right? But in order to like build and grow within certain industries or certain professions or 
in order to do certain things, you kind of got to go by the preset design in order to build, right? Like there's a way you see a barber. There's a way you see a, a, a musician. There's a way you see, you know, a tattoo artist. It's kind of like these set paths that you're supposed to follow to become that thing. You know, for me, when I see what the influencer has been created to be, there's a lot of it that I don't necessarily want to do. So trying to figure out, okay, how do I get the influence, because I was looking for the, always been the influence, because I want to influence the world to be better, right? So in order to do that, you got to have the influence. So for me, it's, the question has always been, how do I build this influence amongst the barber industry while not playing by the preset rules and not getting caught in this box that I necessarily want to be in? That's probably been the biggest challenge. So we figured it out, bro. And I think the key to it was just me being myself unapologetically and trust in the process and trust in God, the universe, and just knowing that as long as I'm living in my truth and I'm leading with love and, and pure positive intention, that whatever is supposed to happen will happen. And, and what I want to say to you guys, barbers, even if you're not a barber, you landed on this video for a reason. I don't know you, you don't know me. But what I will say is this, go after whatever you feel called to do. Whatever you feel like is inspiring you, chase that. And know that whatever it is in your life that you want, you can have it as long as you're willing to work for it. And I wish you success, I'm sending you a lot of positive vibes, good energy, and I'm sending you a lot of strength because you're gonna need it on this journey. Barbers, and I appreciate you. All right, what up, YouTube? So I ran into one of my partners, Kevin, a.k.a. Trim NYC. And I'm just going to ask him a question, man. Uh, what you here, man? What, what you looking for with the CT Barb Expo? So I'm looking for just new innovations, stuff that nobody else is doing besides cutting behind the chair. I want to just find something much, much better. Right. Like, makes me think outside of the box, do things a different way. So that's what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. You seen anything that uh, piqued your interest so far? Not yet. I just got in. I'm, I'm a late guy, not out. So right. I'm I think you came at the right time. Okay. Yeah, this thing not is packed, busy yet. Yeah. There's about 15,000 people gonna be here. That's crazy. Oh wow! Check with me at six and see. All right. <laughs> Yo, bro, appreciate it. Yes, sir. I ran into another friend of mine, man. Go ahead, state your name for the camera. Joshua Kuju, all the way from Trinidad. Yes, sir. We're uh, we going to tag his, uh, his social media. Y'all go ahead and follow. But anyway, uh, I wanted to ask you, man, um, we're bringing you to CC Barber Expo. How far did you travel? And what you looking for um, here today? Um, so I flew just over about like four hours from Trinidad. Um, basically, it's just to absorb all the education that I could, uh -huh. where I could implement it when I go back home. It's more or less to elevate and evolve as a barber coming up in the game. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. What you think so far, man? So far, so good? Um, so far, this is, has been surreal. So it's like, it's pretty mind-blowing. Again, to see all the creators, all the, right. you know, people they look online, Absolutely. in person, and seeing what they can do. Yes, sir. Well, hey, you belong here, man. One day, one day, all right? Appreciate hey, y'all go ahead and follow my boy. He right here. I'm going to tag him right here and uh, and support his work. And y'all be seeing more from him. Hey, pleasure me seeing you again, bro. Yeah. You liking that? You liking that? It's hard not to like that. Hey, you know. It's hard not to like that. Watch this though. The only clipper on the market that will stay calibrated is wet hair. wet hair. Any other tool on the market will decalibrate the minute you get on wet hair. All right, so yeah, we at the Coco booth. We just saw the demonstration. Uh, talk to us about the technology. I didn't even realize it's the water, man. I'm sorry. Hey, talk to us about the information. Innovation, that's a good word. Innovation starts with calibration, right? And so on here, you'll see that it says digital gap, meaning that we've been able to do something digitally that we can't even come close to manual. Any tool that you buy on the market right now, you have to pull out the toolbox, and you have to manually set them to your perfect setting. Only to find out when you test them on your first client that it ain't the right setting. Then you have to pull the tools back out. And you have to calibrate them again. Only to find out it ain't the right setting, right? And then after you done did that three, four times, you just have to settle with what you what you what you calibrated, right? These out of the box, they already come digitally set. 
So they're calibrated to the perfect setting right out of the box. What you see right here on wet hair, this is on wet hair. This calibration on red hair, this is out of the box. So out of the box, our tools are gonna to be calibrated digitally to cut just like this out of the box. It's digital gap technology. This is the art and the science of digital calibration. That's where we're going. Nobody wants to set tools anymore. Out of the box, we want to be smarter. We want to be efficient. This is like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a stretch, but AI is taking over everything, right? It's the same thing. We don't want to work that hard. We want to keep it going. We want to open up the box and keep it moving. If we drop our blades, we don't want to have to calibrate it. We want to be able to pop on a new blade already set. That's digital gap technology. That's cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amazing. On Amazing. top of that, we don't have our shavers here, but we got new shavers. They're the size of AirPods. Hmm. I got in the middle. Out. In the middle of the two foils, you got a cutting blade, meaning that you don't have to take those clippers out or those trimmers and shave the face before you use the foils. Now, you can just pull the foils out and keep it going. And it's waterproof. The reason we got this bucket of water here, so you want to so, prove to people, right. you can drop it in the water and submerge it. Okay. And pull it out and go right there to work. Why is it important? Because a lot of us like the manscape now. Our women, like men, that are totally groomed. And so in the shower, you can shave. Okay. You can manscape in the shower with our new shavers. The size of an air bug. Yes, sir. We, we gonna get a close up one more time. These are the shavers. Wow. Yeah. That's the sound. They very, very oh, quiet. quiet. They got a, a full metal housing. Yeah. And they feel really good at hand. And a cutting blade in the center. So two foils, cutting blade, right? And it's magnetic. So just pull it off real easy uh, to clean it. And I have, what's the, where's the power button at? Oh, here. Yeah. Here? Yep. Okay. Uh, what colors do these come in? These right here, these come out. These come out in uh, in uh, the end of June, beginning of July. And we're doing a pre-sale today, $40 for you to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you right here. Yeah. Yep. That part, continue. Continue. The, the F1 blades, y'all have that this year as well? We do. We're selling the F1 blades now if we still have any. Okay. Is it, we've been selling out. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one from here. Absolutely. You know, I'm, you a, I'm, know about I'm, I'm ABS, so, you know. Okay. All right. All right. Enough, enough said. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. What advice would you give barbers for selecting the right tools for their needs? They got to understand their general operating speed. Uh, and they find that out about what tool that they've been using the most. Once they learn the RPMs on general operating speed, they can find out what that new tool's operating speed is. Because what Bob will do, if I want something from another company, another company from another company, and all of them operate at different RPMs. And this is why they use so many tools, because they don't know their general operating speed. Once they understand their total general operating speed, they can designate to a certain clip and making sure that the clipper is like, say, I, I look at the clipper as a radical car. go Kart, a Lexus, a Honda, a Mazda, all of them have different rides. So you might say, I like a smooth ride. I like a, a, a ride that feels very powerful, like a sport car. So he got to figure out where his operating speed is and how his hand set is with the reverb and the tool. It's a lot of different aspects they have to understand, but talking to individuals like myself is extensive in understanding the mechanics. Just to get the right feedback and say, aha, oh, yeah, aha, oh, aha, and this is the good right there. Can you show us what you got going on here? Well, right here, what we have is uh, just a demonstration showing all of the blades in the industry. Every blade that's in the industry that the Tiffany that all the barbers use, and I show the glitch or the manufacturing defects and show you the evidence of why digital gap is more superior than any other clipper coming directly out of the box. It's not a tool uh, blade that just set with a microscope, but it's a lot more that goes into the blade of how the blade is engineered and is put together on the back of the blade. But the microscope is really the last part of uh, so calibrating the blade and set the blade. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I, you can see the you can see the detail there. You can see that it's yeah. You can see that it's actually uh, make a difference. The shape of these teeth, how far they apart, the spacing in between the teeth. If this is a curve or if that's a curve, the metal, 
all of them make it kind of operate a different way. Wow, and, and that's the thing that um, they, you know, they don't teach us nowadays in um, in school. I don't know if they even equipped to, but um, but that's something that that I think all barbers should know. Um, do you still do your uh, any kind of clipper uh, related courses? Yeah, I do. I still do the clipper mechanics and blade forensics in that particular class. I typically teach everything that I'm talking about. Where even that barber can become like an engineer, and even in this town, go out to other shop and correct the same problems I've been doing for years. Absolutely. Listen, Morono is one of the most premier, premium, knowledgeable uh, experts in the field. So you know, if if you want, if you're very serious about their craft, then you may want to learn his services, his ideology, his knowledge, and all the aspects that he brings to the right? And uh, hey, I, I want to thank you again. Thank uh, you. I'm also ABS certified for about two years now, right? Two years. And uh, hey, I want to thank today. you again. Clippers is going to come with either two blades. It's going to come with either the AccuFade blade or it's going to come with the AccuFade blade is actually, I love the AccuFade blade. Uh -huh. The AccuFade blade is, is is a fade blade with the grooves of a taper blade. Okay, it's kind of yeah. like similar to that to that uh, idea that uh, Gamma had, you know, with the fade blade. Similar, mm -hmm. similar. The difference is, remember the surgical blade with the handles back in the day? Yeah. The reason we didn't like fading with it was because it would pluck the skin. You remember that? Okay. So that's why a lot of people didn't like fading with it. They would go with like a triple lock on that fade blade, but it was just too sharp. Mm -hmm. So with the fade blade, what we did is we grooved the ends and decided to put the grooves on there. So we called the AccuFade blade because it gives you the best of both worlds mm -hmm. if you want to fade with it. Now the F1 blade is even deeper than that. It takes it a step further. It's a combination of the fade blade and the taper blade. Okay. okay. The difference is 24 teeth to 21 teeth. Mm -hmm. Every blade in this building right now has 21 teeth on their clipper blade. Mm -hmm. The F1 blade has 24 teeth. Okay. You're going to cut more hair with more precision. Okay. And you get the best of both the AccuFade, the, the Fade blade, and the Taper blade. That makes sense. So it feeds, essentially, it feeds more hair. That, and if you're a minimalist like me, I don't want two clippers on my station. Yeah, and that's, I want that's how I yep. to do both. Okay. I want Absolutely. one trimmer to do what I needed to do. Okay. Now, I usually have two trimmers because of the kids, right? So I have one that's slightly adjusted different than the other. But I only want one pair of clippers. That's what the F1 blade did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I have the detachments, of course, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. All right. But you want that trim, right? Yeah, I want I want the set. I want the, actually, I'm going to go buy that blue. That, the uh, blue set? Teal, the teal set. All right, we're going to throw in a blade with that. And we're going to throw in a pair of hot BB uh, shades with it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And then, so we, and then the we're going to get the uh, shape as well. Okay. Okay. Clip hey. a trimmer. Blue clipper trimmer. Actually, you want the combo, right? Yep. And then we're gonna throw in the uh, we're gonna throw in the cape. We're gonna throw in the shades, and we're gonna throw in a, a an additional trimmer blade. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, and then you want the, the and then you want the. Yes, they got the F1. Okay. And then you're gonna do a pre-order on the Impacto that yes. comes out in July yes. or in late June. You probably be early. Yes. You probably be on the late June. Okay. Yeah. What color do you want with that? That comes actually in white, white, gold. You white. want the white ones? Nice. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a gold foil. The white okay. is gonna come with a gold foil. Beautiful. Yeah. And then you want the F1, right? Yep. To see that something that we do because we love it, other people can benefit, learn, and put into practice, and we can change lives together. We all can change lives. So make sure you always do your best on everything you do, and trust me, you're gonna get great results. We had a good time though. We just got into the hotel room and um, we do plan on going back tomorrow. And we'll be at the Raw and Uncut booth with Smitty and his wife. Shout out to them. We picked up some cool things that uh, I will be doing reviews on. 
I found this uh, really innovative company called Clippers. Clippers, seen their team. Uh, and it's an adjustable clipper, full metal uh, housing, aluminum. And uh, man, it's got a, I think a eight to 10,000 RPM on it. So we're looking forward to going ahead and revealing this when we get back. And then I had to do it. Went on ahead and got with uh, Coco. And uh, we got the F1 blade coming in into the mail to be used on this right here. Had to grab this colorway, it's a cool, uh, it's like, it looks dark on the box, but it's actually uh, like a teal metallic. And I, you know, they go with the color scheme, you know, white, rose gold, teal. So looking forward to doing a review with these with and without that new F1 blade and giving a real, you know, in-depth review on how that works, how it feels to my clients. You know how I do. I break, I try to break it all the way down and give you guys as much information as possible. Um, I also went ahead and got the matching Hyper Veloce trimmer. Obviously, I got that uh, Digital Gap Ambassador blade on it. And um, y'all know how that rock. Definitely one of the best blades out. And the best, I think this is the best body out, given the fact that it's like, you know, a full metal housing quality and real ergonomic. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and break these out and do it in de detail. We're probably going to do separate videos, though. We're going to do a, a good in detail review on the Hyper Veloce, Hyper Veloce excuse me, trimmer. And they threw in some, you know, some other goodies. Uh, of course, they, they gave us the uh, Coco uh, capes to go with it. And they threw in another Ambassador blade. All right. Them thing, I, I hope now, see, now the blade is good. Like, I, you know, my experience with it is probably like an 8 out of 10 as far as comfortability and like sharpness. But, man, it's something like about, something about that display. The display, that display model they got up there, man, that thing hit crazy. And it feels like super smooth, so I hope it ain't just that they calibrated it to a point where, you know, it's gonna sell. And then we get something different. Hopefully, they put the same, you know, mechanics and attention to detail into this. Because um, I know sometimes, um, you know, when the Morono team when they calibrate their blades, it seems like they're hitting like they're supposed to when you get them from the factory. So there's a little difference there. But anyway, I'm looking forward to if hopefully the ones that's on the trimmer hit like they're supposed to right out the box as advertised. And if not, you know, we got a secondary one that we can put on any clipper we want or we can use it as a backup or whatever. So shout out to the Coco team for that. I'm looking forward to using these in the future and doing a review. So just trying to wrap up my night recap we had a good time we ran into a lot of people taylor perry from the smp i uh, definitely been looking at that class for a while and it might be something I, I tap into here in the near future all right um and then man going back to the clippers company they got this bomb this thing i mean, you know i'm gonna get the white colorway but it's touch you can just swipe up and turn it on swipe up and turn it off and it's it's got the same kind of similar vibe as these but actually, uh, you know, they got that little, it's like touch swipe and, you know, it lights up as it touch up, as you touch it and swipe it up. And they got that teal, you know, it's kind of the, the color palette is immaculate. So I tried to get the display model, but the CEO wouldn't let me <laughs> buy it off of her. But so I guess I'm gonna have to uh, wait for these to drop in June. And uh, this is definitely something that I'm going to be showing on the channel and getting like jumping into really i'm trying to get my station you know as with is the best tools as possible and the fewest tools as possible and uh, i think i had this like narrowed down by this year unless some crazy groundbreaking like tool comes out this year so yeah anyway i also went by the gmb pro booth i was looking for a bigger mirror uh, the, you know, the ones that have the touch light on them and they had this little travel bag, which I think is ideal for me where I can set, you know, like a travel kit up. So in case I do need to go travel and do uh, services, I can, but check this out, y'all. It's a, um, it's a touch screen. It changes like the Kelvins that look like more like a 5,600. The other one's like a 7,000 and then it goes a little bit brighter. So that's dope. And it also opens up. And you can put some tools, you know, and you can move these little dividers around how you need to fit your equipment in there, which is good. So I'll definitely have me a travel case set up right here. 
And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Shout out to DC, man. I've, I've been rocking with you for a while. He knows I'm military, so in the past, man, I, I've bought items from him before and he put it at a discount just like he did with this today. So, you know, shout out to him for looking out for, you know, us veterans and, um, you know, black, another black owned company. You know, I like to support good products, not just because, you know, it's a black owned business, but you know, uh, especially a black owned business that has a good product and they uh, stand by they quality and everything. And um, so they have definitely been an innovator in the space of uh, travel bags, travel accessories and et cetera. And so, um, yeah, shout out to DC and the team, Slick the Barb. I seen him today, one of the ambassadors for the company. Uh, been rocking with him since, um, man, a couple years ago when he got a, out of bar barber college, he reached out to me, you know, just on some barber stuff. And, you know, I always like to share knowledge and um, support uh, other barbers. Uh, and, and it's good to know that he's come to a part, point where he's doing, you know, big things and he's able to bless me with knowledge. And, you know, that's how it is, man. Sharp, uh, iron sharpens iron. and. Uh, yeah, man, I, I ran into a lot of people today, and I'm looking forward to going back there tomorrow before we roll out and get back home to El Paso. So, yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and get in the bed and uh, stand by for, for part two of this video where we're going uh, in the, into the, uh, the uh, Connecticut Barber Expo day two. And, um, yeah, man, see y'all there. All right, day two, y'all. Check this out. Show you what your content. I, mean, I think, uh, yeah, that's amazing. Man. Thanks, so, bro. Thank you, Thank you. I, I gave you and made me like sound cuts here, bro. Seriously, when it comes to YouTube. So. All right, child. So, um, we're on our way out, and YP has taken a liking to some of the art she saw right here, right? Yes. What you notice? Um, it's about the sacred sites, and it's like a, it's about the manto or mundo. That's what they call the great spirit. Mm. And it's just, um, it's beautiful. So you yeah, can okay. check it out. So, um, what is it? What's this? Native American culture? No, what's not it? too much. It, it, everyone has their own meaning. Mm -hmm. And the material that they use is okay. very neat. Well, that's dope. Here, let me show y'all what, what she's looking at. Which one you like the most? I like the map. Even though it's... This one right here? It's in the ski. It's not the... I'm sorry for the animal, right? But yeah. it's... How they used to put the draw the maps. It's an skin. Oh, okay. That's dope. It's like a it's footprint. A map drawn yeah. on. I get you know, that used to be the first form. That used to be the first form of uh paper. Anyway, so okay. it makes sense. Prior to them using the wood. So that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. That's a good find, baby. about to do a little possibly hidden uh do a little gambling y'all we are at a casino so uh we we took our band off this year so they didn't tell us that we had to put it back on to get in get back in on the third day of the event and we just don't feel like paying the extra to get back in but that's fine we only got a couple hours before we got to leave to the airport anyway so we're just gonna go ahead and hit some slots and stuff y'all so i'll see y'all in a minute So we, we we on a we on a decent level. We won what we put in so far. So so far so good. I think we up what thirty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so my baby got get some good uh luck. I got bad luck, so I don't play, guys. I let my wife play. <laughs> no. I got, we we had a budget. I'm just giving all to her. <laughs> All right, so I ran into my brother, Zach, AKA Slick the Barber. Hey man, so uh, we brought you here, man. Uh, what did what'd you experience at day three? You know what I'm saying? Throughout this uh, CT Barber Expo. Yeah, man, so we uh, we came out here. I came out here with GMB Pro. Uh, 
mobile and beauty grooming. Uh, we have amazing bags for the industry, uh, for mobile barbers and beauticians on the go. Mm -hmm. And I came out here to represent for them, uh, for the team, and uh, come out here and network, man. So networking is a big part of, I think, being a barber and an influencer and being able to, it's all about who you know. And being able to communicate with new people is gonna create new opportunities uh, for the future. And man, we had, a, we had a great time. The Grammy Awards is a place you gotta be. The Grammys were absolutely crazy. It was a movie. And uh, yeah, man, the stage is the biggest stage in the world for barbers to battle on. And it was a, it was a great opportunity, man. For sure. Hey, 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 actually, uh, Zach actually invited us to the show this year. Um, and so, yeah, man, um, building relationships, man, is, like you said, is very important. And uh, so it, don't be afraid to reach out to influencers that you see coming up. Um, you never know who's going to get back to you. Uh, and then it, it'll create opportunities for yourself. So make sure that you don't miss out on that, all right? And that's all we got, man. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Good guys. seeing you, bro. Good appreciate the team. invite as well. Hey, it's your boy Legacy Lamont, <laughs> the Barber. Yes, sir. And today, Jesus is not gonna take the wheel. Jesus trying to take the wheel right now. <laughs> Your phone now. All right, so we made it to uh, to Dallas, and of course, like Dallas always does, they switched our gate a couple times already. So we got back to our gate, but we're hungry, and there's no TGI Fridays in El Paso, so. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go home back here, have some grub. So, ran into some people from El Paso. The Absolute Barber Supply Team crew finally met all three of them. Saludos to them. Yeah, and um, yeah, so I, I got Rex's number. I'm gonna go by there, slide through there, and support the, uh, the, the storefront, grab some clippers and stuff from them. I think I'm since. JRL had me go all the way out to the CT Barber Expo, and they didn't, uh, I was expecting to get those JRLs, man, those ghosts. So I'm gonna see if I can put in an order with them, and uh, I just buy it through them instead, to, through Absolute Barber Supply, so. Anyway, my wife just got through getting pushed around the uh, airport by this guy that was pushing two, uh, two carts, <laughs> and she, right? So, what time is it, babe? It's 9.35 and I guess Chick-fil-A, I mean, uh, TJI Fridays is closed. So I guess we're gonna just try to find some cheap food somewhere. Man, they, they can close mad early for it to be an uh, airport. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have the greatest uh, opinion of uh, Dallas. I think I think primarily because my last trip to that Iron Barber plug show, I was, um, I was stuck here for like, probably like 17, 18 hours. Oh, so Chili's is open. Shout out to Chili's. What's going on YouTube? So we made it back. It has been a couple days. I came back, I had to do a lot of homework. You know, I'm in film school, so yeah. So man, that event was amazing. I got to connect with great, great influencers, barbers, entrepreneurs, vendors, man, f from, man, all of the influencers and companies were there, Babyless, uh, Andy's, Wall, Gamma, Coco, uh, Clippers, uh, JRL, man, all of their, their platform artists performed. They all, all did classes. You had classes from, from A-Rod and, and Lady Barber, and uh, you had classes from Marv Marv and the Squire team. We had Stay Gold, you had Angel Ross, Famos. I mean, just to name a few, right? Man, so the best thing about this trip is that I was able to finally get out and get out and be a, be out in the industry and be free to t kind of roam and make connections because, man, it, it's been a long, like three years with my wife and I, being that she, you know, she had a heart transplant. You know, we just kind of had to stay to ourselves for a while. Uh, because of you know her, her heart condition and uh, and just keeping everybody safe, so it, it meant a lot more to me because I was able to take my wife on this journey with me. Her being my ace and being the one that you know is in is, is always in the background, got my back. I'm the one waking her up in the middle of the night saying, "Hey, baby, what you think about this video? What you think about this picture? Should I post this, post this, or what I, what not?" And just you know being my my road dog when when it comes to 
man, she, my wife, even though she's an esthetician by trade, man, she be in here doing her thing. She'll shampoo hair if I needed to. She'll come in here and, and, and just really, she really got my back and she's shooting with me in the gym. So it was very special for me to be able to, to experience that with her. This is our first big trip on a plane in like three years. And so, man, I'm just blessed to, to be able to have this, um, this momentous like trip. I went to other trips recently, but this one by far was more special to me because man, the, of the mag, just the sheer magnitude, man, the vibe was great. You know, I've seen fellow barbers and peers. I've seen people I look up to, shout out to Al Millions. Uh, it's, it's, that, that brother's been around for 30 plus years in the barber industry. And like, he's one of the first people that I saw. He signed my book and um, told me, hey, you know, as soon as you get done reading, give me a call and we're gonna talk, we're gonna chop it up. So, you know, it's all about those type of like connections that you make on those on these events because you never know how they're gonna shape your future. And so I always recommend like to just step out, step out of your shell, you know, save up a couple dollars, man, and, and, and get you a ticket and fly to these events and, and, and get you some education and get you some connections, especially if, you know, it's something that you're trying to do. Like my focus now that I'm doing YouTube, it's something new, something I've been holding off for years, but it's good to be in the room with fellow YouTubers and fellow barbers and, you know, to be able to ask those questions it's like just simple stuff like hey man what kind of camera you're using you know what i'm saying uh what kind of mic would you using oh hey man uh uh hey who does your th thumbnails you have an app it's like just little regular little special like little questions like that and like like i wasn't even able to capture all of those small moments you know i, I talked to uh who i talked to was real cool a wavy kid kid kev like i was just chopping it up with him like he's a cool young kid man and uh you know and i and you know i, I like that that new energy that we're bringing into the industry by allowing you know people to express themselves and allowing other people to gravitate towards them you know what i mean and so i think youtube is a powerful tool for that and especially you know like look you checking me out here at the legacy lamont channel man and i appreciate you and i just want to go ahead and caveat off that and say if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel like it man hit that hit hit that bell icon like you know i'll be putting out very specific and re very detailed clipper reviews i got a podcast i'm sitting in my podcast set up right now that's coming soon i got 26 years as a barber since 98 i've been cutting and um i get to, i just got a lot to show you guys if it's just cuts or you know just the detailed reviews and vlogs like these you know what i'm saying and then Man, like that, that's what it's all about, right? And so just like getting back to um, my experiences at the TT Barber Expo, man, I went there. I honestly wanted to go there for the JRL, those new ghost clippers. I wanted to get the trimmer, the clipper, and uh, the shaver, and maybe even the blow dryer, right? They ain't, it ain't dropped. I thought it was gonna drop, but it don't drop into June, so I'm gonna probably pick those up then. Ah, uh, man, I was looking so forward to, to get picking those up, but you know, I mean, I didn't have a budget to bring home some stuff, some equipment and some clippers and, and stuff like that. So I went ahead and just took that opportunity to buy from other companies. Obviously I got some Coco stuff, but you know, I'm looking forward to using and showing, uh, doing a review on these, the clippers company. Um, I showed you those, th these a little earlier, but I don't know if I mentioned, um, that's a, a 10,000, 10,000 RPM motor. And it's like super quiet. Now I don't know, if it just sound quiet because I was in a loud convention center, but we really gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna see how quiet they are and how, how good they, you know, they cut. And if, if they don't cut good out the box, I'm gonna modify them and show y'all how I modified them to get them to hit in, in, the, in the way that I like them to be hit. So that's coming y'all way. Obviously I picked up the Coco Hyper Veloce trimmer and clipper set that I showed you guys. I'm not no stranger to Coco products because I have a set that I've been using for a while on my clipper right now on my set station. So I'm familiar with them. I just uh, wanted to get a different colorway to be honest with you. They hit, they're really good tools. So, you know, why? why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I went ahead and cop those because right, you see, we, you know, we got the teal in my color scheme. You know, I just want people to see my content and know, oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, that's Lamont right there because that's his colorway. And, you know, just that brand affinity. I, I like details like that. You know, I feel like details really matter. And um, and I think, um, you know, that, that's what best fits for my brand. All right. Um, I also got, um, you know, obviously the, the, the Coco, they, they gave, a, gave me a cape. So, and I have a few of these already because I bought several Coco uh, tools and then clippers. They got this, they gave me this um, this gray cape. I didn't open it up 
because I plan on using it for the, the clipper review. But yeah, it's gray and the letters are like reflective, which is dope. It kind of matched the theme in here. So I'm definitely looking forward to using this. Um, what else did I leave out? I missed out. I missed out on these for Coco. I'm, I know I'm jumping around from company to company, right? But Coco, uh, when I bought the clipper, so I got the, the trimmer, the clipper, the shaver, and then I pre-ordered the F1 blade because by the time I got up there, they had sold all of them, unfortunately. So I'm waiting on those to do a, a clipper review, clipper trimmer review with the F1 blade. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to do everything. I'm getting a decibel um, uh, tester. I think that's what it's called. I'm getting a, um, a weight, a scale, so that I can kind of weigh the different um, weights of them. And I'm just trying to get as, as specific and detailed as possible with these uh, upcoming Clipper reviews uh, because I feel like, um, you know, I feel like it can be done better. I can, it could be done in a legacy way. And so I'm gonna bring you guys the best content I can. All right. Um, but yeah, wifey, I, I gave these to wifey because this ain't really my style. They don't look bad though. You know, check them out. Uh, it's, it's um This is a collaboration with Habibi I think that's how you say it, and Coco, right? Check that out. And here are the shades. Now they have some kind of special wood here on the um, the side posts. And look at them, they got a nice fade. It blends from clear to like red or brown at the top. So they look, I think they look decent on me, but they not really my style. So man, these look awesome on wifey. So I just went ahead and she was able to get a new pair of shades, quality shades at that. So shout out to Coco for even throwing these in for that event. That's dope, super dope. I also met Mr. Reifert from the CEO of Self Cut System. And uh, man, I don't know, bruh, I don't know if y'all seen this kit, but listen, first of all, he gave me a nice discount on it. Seeing that I've been like supporting the brand for a while. Yeah, I got I got one of the, the old ones, the old models that have the LEDs on the trifold mirror and you hang it on your door. But this one is seamless. Like there's no exposed LEDs. Like it's all built in. The, all three mirrors are, you hit a button, they dimmable. You can bring them down with that button. You can dim them down and you can bring them up. And it has a tripod that extends up to like seven feet. And then it has like um, a tray on it so you can set items with hooks so you can hook your clippers there and the whole thing charges. So you ain't got to worry about where that cord is or like knocking it over or tripping over the cord or something like that. It's real clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until my hair, you know, grows out a little bit in my taper area. And I'm going to do a um, like a self cut tutorial using these. And I can't wait to show you guys that that's coming up soon. Man, what else? <laughs> Let's talk about some of the people that um, that I saw there. Obviously, I was supposed to be at the Raw and Uncut booth. However, we got in there early. We started walking around, the thing got packed. <laughs> and my wife, she ended up kind of like turning in a little bit earlier because we had got in like at midnight, you know, that, that morning. And then the class was already at like 8 a.m. And so halfway through the day, I finally made my way back over there with uh, Smitty and shout out to him and his wife, man. Love y'all over there, man. Love the brand, obviously. So I had plans on going back, you know, the second day and just spending my time there for a few hours before we was to take off and come back here. But that didn't happen because I had a hiccup because I took my band off at the, uh, the Barber Expo event. Hopefully they had that fixed next year. Like y'all, y'all got to at least let somebody know if they don't have their tag, then it may be an issue or whatever. So we didn't feel like really fighting it. So we, you know, we did other things. Um, but you know, all in all, it wasn't super bad. I just kind of wish I could have got there to the booth. But you know, next year, next year, we, we will make sure that uh, that we out there to support. All right. So I I also was able to run into man. It's, it's quite a few guys, man. Shout out Kevin Trim. I, Trim NYC on Instagram. That's one of my buddies. I met him at Morono's uh, ABS course. And yeah, we took that course together. And since then, we just kind of been, you know, supportive of each other's uh, careers and, and barbering and, and, and also just kind of like helping each other out, you know what I'm saying? Putting us up on game. And that's what those connections are about, man. When you go to events like this, when you take classes, when, uh, and you have the opportunity to link up with other barbers, man, you know, it open up uh, a, a world of opportunities for you. And, and you, you end up running into these same individuals at the, at the shows, man. And so I wanna 
shout out to Kevin, man. It was good meeting, uh, seeing, you, seeing you out there at the show. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. <laughs> And then I was able to run into my boy, Slick the Barber, uh, Zach, AKA Slick the Barber. He's one of GMB Pro's ambassadors. Up and coming, I think he got, he has the, he has the, the limitless, you know, capabilities to be one of those names that people know about that's synonymous with the barber industry and influencers. And um, he's the, one of the reasons why I ended up taking the trip out there because, you know, normally I don't go to events unless I get a lot of people saying, hey man, are you going to this event? Are you going to this event? And Slick just happened to be one of them. So I was able to do that interview, that last interview with him. And um, it's always good to see those real ones. You know what I'm saying? And he's one of them. So I appreciate you for giving me the interview and, um, and being a part of this video, man. And uh, yeah, and, and I'm proud of you. And man, it's always love. <laughs> Sly Huncho, I think he's the influencer of the year. I think, I think that boy got a million plus, a million plus uh, followers on, on on Instagram. I mean, doing numbers. I heard it, I heard about you through one of my buddies, Zenus. Uh, he's one of the guys, uh, Kex CEO on Instagram, and he's one of the guys that um, I kind of mentor. You know, he looked up to you, so he he told me about your channel, and it was good to bump in to bump into you at the event and show some love, man, and some support, man. Man, I'm telling you, it was so many people. I wasn't even able to to even interview everybody. I want to sh uh, shout out to everybody that was a part of the video. Marv, Marv, how, um, how did I, man, I almost left you out, man. I appreciate it, man. It was uh, doing that video. <laughs> the first one we recorded, it was, my wife didn't record it. So uh, Marv being the the gentleman that he is was was willing to go ahead and just like re-record during the interview and uh man uh, he it's always good seeing marv i see him i bump into marv every time i go to one of these events and um obviously we know who marv marv is on social media on youtube on instagram i think he may be on TikTok as well he's one of the um the influencers that talk about mar marketing and also just uh social media marketing specifically and branding yourself and using the tools available to have the best like chance at being successful in barbering and the guy's so humble uh so i wanted to salute you for being a part of the video as well man it was humbling to to have you in this video and um it's always a pleasure seeing you brother let me see man i i think that's the best of the recap i could do guys i'm gonna go ahead turn in all right but listen go to these events uh, don't listen to nobody that tries to naysay or, or, or any of these events and stuff, man. It's, it's, it's on you to get your own opinion about it. All right. If you, if you up and coming, why not go and compete? Go, go ahead and, and throw your hat in the ring. You, if you, if you saying, if other people saying that, Hey, you, that guy, you, you the best barber and an X location, then, you know, challenge yourself to go ahead and get on that stage and see, you know, and, and either win or fail. You know what I'm saying? Take take the L, the W or take the L and learn from it and and, and find out where your shortcomings are, were, and improve on them for the next time. Get you some hardware, take, have you some, it's good, it's nice. I got some, I got some trophies up here, man, from years ago. Yeah, so you wanna make sure that you get outside the house. Here's a few, a couple of mine that I have on display at the shop. Uh, this is my first, Hair, uh, no, my second hair show, and I got first place. And here's my second one in bar, my first one in barber school, where I got third place here. But you know, it was a st it was it was against stiff competition. So you know, I was just happy to be able to take some hardware home back to you know my school and back to the shop I was working at. And um, man, it feels good to test your mic, so to speak. You know, in these events, I definitely encourage you guys, man. You know, you, you got to get outside them comfort zones, all right, and go to trips like these. But I want to thank you guys for going on this journey with me. And, um, you know, hopefully I'll see you guys at the next event. But until next time, stay sharp. Legacy out. You can't fall without us.